Welcome to the RCAD Ramblecast. My name is Jack. And my name is Matt. And we're waiting for Chris. He's doing something. Um, he's doing something. He's doing something. He's yeah, putting just... he's putting the banana in the corner. Yeah, he is. He's putting banana in the corner. He's putting the banana somewhere, I think, right? He's taking a banana or I don't know what you would call it. Anyway, he's not here as of now. He will be joining us though. If you yes. if you tuned in, you're yeah. not getting just another Jack with some other rando. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's 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 Matt with some other rando because it was it was like was was Nick by himself is what they had said. Which makes oh. you feel which makes you feel good about yourself. Oh. So so the show that you did with Nick, you're saying Yeah, was, I did with Nick. It was, Nick really... was it was it was like it was just Nick, they said, and not hmm. me. Oh, okay. It's okay. I, I, I can take it. I don't, I don't care. Well, he's got a lot to say, and he needs he to be heard. So. He needs to be heard. He's he's. If you're wondering where he is, uh, John, a retired guy. No, I was Nick, not. crap. Um, I was not. He was not what? I oh, was not wondering. Me? I was. Oh, you're not, not wondering. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So I'm talking to the six people listening right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, one of them can leave because Nick's not going to be here. So there you go. Um. I had thought, like, what if we just had our own side verses without Nick? Like, since he's away, like, we just have a... But I got just, nowhere just, with that in my mind. Just just to piss him off? I just... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't so, get mad. I don't think you get mad, do you? No, no. It'd get under his skin a little bit. He'd, he'd call it unofficial. Like, that's like... I think it would have to be canon. something about, about knocking the South. Mm -hmm. you know. what's your yeah what's your least favorite what, what's state? your fi what's your favorite civil war general <laughs> and it'll be every, all three people from the north <laughs> well i like generals that win yeah Maybe. yeah true you know yeah he would have a retort for that so i'm just imagining like he's just writing this stuff down like okay i need to respond to that I need to respond to yeah. that uh, yes, we did have a fun anniversary. Yes, we did. We took oh. the whole family. I, I we took the whole family to Angus Barn. Okay. Yes, that was a grand time. But and, I noticed and, about Angus Barn when when you go in a big group, the mill doesn't seem as good. I mean, it's still good. Yeah, but it's it's the one restaurant where you go. Okay, I'm gonna have this. Is gonna be a great meal, right? And I got the T bone steak, which I normally don't get. And I was like, okay, this is good. This is good. Mm -hmm. So, um, I spilled my expensive drink. Ooh, I ordered a double rum and coke, and they're not cheap. And I had it sitting in front of me, and my daughter said something. I went, "What?" I, I moved my hand whoosh, all across. And the funny thing is, I'm sitting next to Alex, who's six, and <laughs> and my grandson, other grandson, um, um, Ashton, who's not two yet, and who spills the drink. The you old do. man. And so yeah. my son-in-law, one of my son-in-laws is sitting across from me. And we're trying to dr dry it up with these napkins. It's it's not, it's not, you know, it's not working. And I finally, my son-in-law goes, I have to use the rest. He had to take his other, my other grandson, another grandson to the uh, bathroom. So I said, oh, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. And I look, I look, well, I got, there was a guy folding napkins and I saw a new tablecloths because our table was the, it was like an add-on table. Yeah. So I switched everything around. Came back, go, yeah, I got it dry. <laughs> <laughs> Crash my wife goes, he's kidding. He had the guy put a new tablecloth on. I go, I go, why did I have why you know, I put up with you for 35 years? You know the Come one, on now. You know the one that I get, Jack. It just cuts me to the core. Is um your dad thinks he's funny. <laughs> that's the one that i get a lot your yeah, dad I get that a your lot, dad yeah. thinks he's funny and i'm like well i know that i'm funny you just yeah. don't see the beauty in, in I, what i, I can't do help here. It if you don't i get the thing what's like jay will say oh old jokes mm. well mm -hmm. i'm old <laughs> what life experiences do i have now i have <clears throat> i have taught every grandkid that farting is funny oh Okay. The farting is funny, and my and no one has taken it more to heart than my granddaughter. <laughs> she is she loves to fart on people. Oh she wow! Loves to walk in front of you and fart in your face, 
She likes to, <laughs> she holds she holds her farts for her parents and then farts on them. <laughs> then she brags about it. I forgot to tell the story last week. Last week we we're at her house and she, and I uh, uh I'm disgruntled. Evening. I thought there were more hosts on the show. Yeah, one is taking a dump. Let me just put it out there. Okay. He just got home taking a there's, dump. So there's a dump truck on that's vacation. coming. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Vacation called work. Yeah. So we're at her, my daughter, my daughter's house, where, and we're watching the grandkids there because they got to pick them up from work. It's a long story. Anyway, she goes, Papa, come up here. Come up here. She goes, she's at the top stairs. I just farted. And she's waving her hand, you know, by her butt. Down the stairs, she goes. It smells like cake, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that's the title of the episode. I know uh, Chris smells, here, but smells like cake. S- smells like cake, but I was like, yeah, and I my wife good. goes, "You must be so proud." I go, "Well, you're <laughs> laughing. You think it's funny?" She goes, "Oh, the things, you, the things you, uh, <laughs> the things you teach people." Sherry says, "What is my favorite meal at at, at Angus Barn?" I, anything that's steak wise, I, I think it's anything that has four legs, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anything, you're not going. You're not has, going there to get chicken. Anything that has parents. Anything that has a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, um, but the, the service there is outstanding. I mean, it just if you again if you're ever in Raleigh, go to Angus Barn. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I saw Alex eat about thirty Ritz crackers, <laughs> and then he was. They have like pickles and olives and all these different things in there and celery and he he i go did you just eat the only pickle and he goes looks at me he goes and he had eaten most of the pickle i was just giving him a hard time he goes here papa you can have the rest it's like a <laughs> bite st- i go and you 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 chewed on both sides you left me nothing here kid he goes what and i go all right i'm gonna show you i'm gonna eat so i ate the pickle even though he had chewed all over it so I keep My trying grandson. to see. The, I keep trying to see the top of the banana behind you in this. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. It's it's kind of got a unique topper, and uh, it's got a brown bottom, which is. Uh, well, I didn't even know, notice that. Yeah, I didn't even notice there's, that. There's a little. It's got a. It's got its own little anus so, barn. So, so basically, the baby shit itself. Baby shit herself <laughs> when she had to do that. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. So <laughs> I don't have the arms yet, but uh, working on oh, the okay. banana though. So. All right. It and was. Uh, I. It. It wasn't just. I didn't just pick any banana. Yeah. It's, yeah, it looks good. It's. It's not. It's not quite there. I. I got the the top part a little off there. But anyway, um, smells like cake. Um, kind of like smells like Teen Spirit. Um, maybe it was forty five Ritz crackers. He just kept eating Ritz crackers. They, they served. They have the. Uh, they have like a American cheese. I think it's cheddar cheese, and then. Uh, I don't know what the white cheese is, but it's mozzarella. Take... No, it's not mozzarella. queso. No, <laughs> it's not queso. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe uh, sharp. No, sharp is orange. Ooh, Whatever. Well, the they do. Cheese. They know they have a sharp that's white. There's oh, a white they? sharp. Yeah, there's white sharp yeah. cheddar, and then there's and they a... have these crackers. They're just amazing. And I choose. I well, I couldn't because I both grandsons between me were eating all the crackers. Yeah. You know. And the one was going, ah! I go, I don't understand what that means. Ah! What a way to celebrate your 35th by being surrounded yeah. by your grandchildren. You know, it, it, so. it was a lot of fun. It was I, I, every and, and the it was a three. We were there for three hours mm. and the grandkids, not one of them acted up because you wow. hear you could hear other kids in the thing on mm-hmm. ah! streaming and running around. That's how well behaved these kids were. Not one peep i mean they they they, and they and some lady took them on a tour Mm -hmm. alex didn't want to go and the two youngest ones obviously couldn't go and they got to see the office and i said that's pretty cool which which episode did you see (laughs) because you know you wouldn't want to see scott's tots (laughs) because you come back all depressed (laughs) uh or the british office the british office yes because then they're like going very, very yeah, she goes, yeah, they were speaking a foreign language. We couldn't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have the subtitles on. Yeah, um, which I have to do uh, all the time. Well trained by Papa. I don't know about that because I get blamed every time there's a problem. I get blamed 
Oh, mm-hmm. they learned that from you, which is probably well, again like the farting. Okay, and, but and, here's here's the trade off. They're getting childcare for free, right? Yeah. Yeah. So back off. So you know, it's like you take the good, you take the, take both. the bad. I it. I've said that many times. I jacks go jacks of life, yeah. the jacks of life. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that many times. If you can find a better daycare at a better price, I will have no problem putting out of business on my front door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no um, problem. Um, yeah, out of business. Sorry, I just was. You know, I want to talk TV, but I'm I'm trying to wait to, to find out. Yeah, that's what that's why I'm stalling. Where yeah. I'm trying to find out where I want to find out where Chris is in the in the Breaking Bad or the Better Call Saul. I'm on episode five of the final season. Okay, I'm I'm actually ahead of you now. Oh, are you? So yeah. Well, it's not my fault. My wife's been watching The Crown rewatch. Mm-hmm. It's on Netflix. Oh, and you got a battle for the Netflix. Got it. And so I, I, I'll I'll say I go wait. Are so you watching? Has, so does that mean that you moved forward with the Orville then? Well, she's watching. I I did, but I also started watching For All Mankind. Uh, I, I started watching. Okay. A, I only mm. saw the first episode of that, and and last well, well last night I stayed up. I made a I made a decision. I figured, okay, I'm only going to have one kid tomorrow, mm. so I can take a nap. So I stayed up and watched two episodes. You were going to say I'm going to take an edible. <laughs> take an edible. <laughs> well, yeah, I only have one kid tomorrow, so I'm going to take an edible. Yeah, I, I, I well, what happened was I was I was thinking, okay, I only got one kid, I can take a nap. And then, so I stayed up because we recorded Survivor last night. Survivor's back, and we didn't finish till after eleven. So I said, "I'm gonna watch an episode of Better Call Saul." Then I watched another episode of Better Call Saul. It's then I so started another do. episode. Of it. So I said, "Okay, I gotta go to sleep." Yeah, that's I, where I, I was last to, night. I was I like, to "Sleep." It was it was midnight, and I was like, starting another episode. And it, you know, uh, Chris, you haven't missed much. We we just started the very tip of our TV talk. Just the tip. Just the tip. We think the title. Feels. This is it. We think the tip. The title might be "It Smells Like Cake," <laughs> which is a reference to Jack's granddaughter's farts. Yeah. So, yeah. She said. She said. Hey, I know you got a mouthful well, of food I, right now, but she. Uh, she uh, uh, I've taught like cake. Uh, that's the one thing I've passed on to my grandkids that farting could be funny. I told this earlier, and um, and so she's she's the best at it. She's taking it to the next level where the other grandkids, they do it. It's not like, it's not, it's not like a big deal to them. It's a big deal to her. She likes <laughs> to hold her tra- farts. I, int- fart I need to introduce face. you. I need to introduce you to a game that you can play with them. Oh yeah. It's called guess my fart. <laughs> it's really fucking funny, right? I encourage you to do it with your significant others as well. <laughs> well, you, you get them to guess what, the sound of your fart is going to be. Oh, the sound of your fart or the smell? Wow. I, I was, I was yeah. going for smell. Yeah. No, no. Guess my fart is the sound. What's the sound of the fart going to be? It's, it's be like squeaky. And then you let it rip and then see how close they are to getting it. And it's always laughter ensues. Oh, nice. Yeah. Guess my fart. Yeah. Uh, John, the retired guy says Chris is here and he's empty. What do you mean he's empty? <laughs> You're damn right I am. Jesus Christmas. <laughs> We had to finally, uh, I think Matt, did, was it you, Matt, or did I say what he was actually hmm? a wet or dry fart? Sorry for uh, me being crude and eating, but I literally just walked in the door of my house like eight oh, minutes no, ago. Right. Go ahead. And I had to take a huge dump. And I did that, which it sounded like you guys already told them. Oh. Um, well, was, I, 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 we had to tell them something because people were going, where's Chris? Were, where's Chris? They, where's Chris? They were like, where's fuck Chris? these two guys. We yeah. don't want another episode where it's just two guys. Well, some guys said, I am disgruntled, said, this is what he said, Chris. Evening. I thought there were more hosts on the show. Oh yeah, yeah. So well, keep am. being keep being disgruntled because uh, the longer you listen, the less of us there will be. And John, the retired guy, says the good ones are off disgruntled. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Nick is gone. For, is he yeah. gone for two weeks? Two yeah, weeks. Yeah. So. He might be. He mm-hmm. might be back next week. So I just we don't know. recap really real fast with my, my granddaughter. We're at her, she's at the top of the stairs and she goes, Papa, 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 come here. And I go up there. She goes, I farted. And she's waving her hand down from the top of the stairs to the bottom. She goes, It smells like cake. Psycho. I said, so I, I doubt laughing. it. <laughs> I, I, I said, I started laughing. I mean, I just I'm just rolling. And so he goes, see what you taught them? But then I go, but you're laughing. 
you're laughing. <laughs> you're laughing too. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's that's how we got the the title. The universe the made farts for humor. There's it's no funny. I mean, I watch videos of people doing fake farts, like in like oh. Walmart and stuff like that. Uh huh. And the reaction of people, is, I and I know they're fake, right? But I can't, I laugh every fucking time. <laughs> like if if you if you don't either internally or externally laugh at any like every single fart, yeah. You're inhuman. Like, and if you're saying you don't think the farts are funny, then you're 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 a fucking liar. Like, his farts are funny. There's they no are. way around it. Farts yeah. are really funny. Uh, I this was when I was younger, like like in my teens. Our house Wait, dog. You don't fart anymore. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just let me finish what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, our family dog. When I was in high school, if you made a fake fart noise. It would get really self conscious and and sniff <laughs> itself. Like like did I? We traumatized that dog. It's just like you just make a fart. It's like what was that me? And sniff around. The dog's like, like, damn it, smell like me. <laughs> <laughs> would you ever see the movie Ten? No. Mm -hmm. Moore. No. Bo Derek. Yeah. Nope. Never saw it. That is a perfect. <laughs> wait. Wait. Chris has seen Ten. And Matt, you haven't. I you have not seen ten. You gotta. I don't know if it holds up. I haven't seen it in a while. No, but okay. it was like the closest thing, like softcore porn, I used to have as a kid. Sure. Yeah. Well, because USA Bo Derek all night on the beach. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That would have been the only time that I would have seen it. USA up all night. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a the, uh, the softcore porn of yeah. cable in the cable. in the nineties. No squiggly 80s. lines either. No, yeah. you didn't have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. I, 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 I recommend it if you haven't seen it. Well, late, late it's, 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 it's funny. But Dudley Moore, who was hilarious, he's at this priest, this priest house or something, and this old lady is serving tea, and she's walking really slow, and she's tumbling over the teas and stuff like that, and, and they're talking, and then she just lifts, lets out this fart, <laughs> and just and, it's, and 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 the dog just takes off running. And the, the priest says, oh, and such and such farts, we beat the dog. So that's what the dog friend when they fart. The <laughs> <laughs> when the old lady farts. So, but again, it's a fart scene, movie. so it's funny. Well, I'm glad we, we covered all bases there. <laughs> well, you know, because when you get older, you'll, you mm. guys, I don't know if you're there yet. It's sometimes the, the farts just, they just, you, they just happen. You're like, also, yeah. you know, you know, well, oh. and sometimes you think, Hey, this one's going to be a silent one. And oh yeah, and then it's <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah. And then you're like, you're like, or when, it, or, or when you, and when you, when you push it out, and it's like, you feel it as like thirty degrees warmer than the air <laughs> around you, and you're like, oh, that one's going to be sour. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me upstairs before I was, I was throwing some stuff in the air fryer to reheat, and I was like, oh boy, and my daughter is like, you are disgusting. Dad. By the way. <laughs> My, you are gross. By the way, you just mentioned something there. Air fryer for reheating food is where it's at. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I, yeah, it's better in microwave. I have we we've taken fries home before, and fries were always like, why even mess with fries? But we've yeah. you can't do it for long, or else you'll you'll cook you'll char yeah, them. They yeah, get all, they get all burnt on the yeah. Yeah, but, what you can do is you can preheat the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Most air fryers you don't have to, but you, if you do it this way, like, like let's say it's French fries or a slice yeah. of pizza, like I just had. You preheat it like you let the air fryer run; it gets hot. Mm -hmm. You put the stuff in the microwave for like a third to a half of what you normally would put in there for, and then you finish it in the air fryer. I think I think they just have like a temperature gun, you know, a fart you thermometer. Measure. Yeah, you just be a great invention. I think so. Yeah. I, I'm just grown. Well, he's still here. I'm just grown. Yeah. Well, you lose him so. or her. What I used to do is because I don't like cold pizza, so I used uh -huh. to put it in the toaster oven. Same mm -hmm. idea. That way. I mean, yeah. toaster yeah. oven is a fryer. fryer. Some people go, yeah. why don't you just put it in the microwave? Because it gets all soggy. Soggy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't. You, you can't. Uh, one thing that. with with fries, if you ever want to resurrect fries, is you know putting a little bit of truffle oil, you know, oh. on, on top of like some, you know, Parmesan cheese. Boom. Mm. You've 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 basically made a new new uh, resurrected those fries. I'm gonna have, yeah. I'm gonna have to try that because so. uh... truffle oil is great. Oh man. Yeah. I, I love truffle fries. If, if if there's ever truffle fries on a menu, they're mm -hmm. ordered. Yes, hands down. Yep. Speaking of menu, um, I, don't yep. I don't think I've had truffle fries. Really? really? 
Yeah. It's it's next level. So there's there's two different types of truffle fries. There's fake mm. truffle fries and real truffle fries. Like people it depends on where you go. Like some restaurants will use like a like a um like a, a seasoning mister. that's like a truffle seasoning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is good, but it's nowhere near it's as good as like french fries that are are, are like tossed soaked in, in oil. oil. Yeah. Like oil. it's really, really good. The truffle oil is where it's at. And you can buy it at your, your local grocery store, like for usually like yeah. nine or ten bucks. You know, you can buy a bottle. Really? I'll, keep it around. I'll, have, yeah. I'll, so, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye out. And there's there's two different kinds too. There's white truffle and then there's like black truffle. So yeah. Okay. So uh, if, okay. Ho- wait, hold on. If I if I am I making a statement if I buy a certain no oil? I mean, no. am I no. am I gonna it's be just labeled? a color? It's not if, a race. If you like, I'm not, if I'm not gonna be it's canceled. just a color, not a race. Okay. <laughs> if you like I'm not gonna get up there, flavoring. someone's not gonna go, what was wrong with the black truffle oil? Uh well, uh, you know. It, the, they, there is... like the truffle seasoning. There's something I've I've been a, a fan of for a long time, and I was I used to buy it directly, but now they're becoming much more um accessible. I even think some uh fast food restaurants, like maybe even Taco Bell, I thought. I think I saw that might be putting on the menu, but truff sauce. If you ever Ooh, see the advertisements yeah. for it, it's really mm-hmm. good. So you can get you guys are making types me hungry. Sauce. Um, and they put they infuse it with truffle oil. A lot of times, um, like it's it's really a- good, good sauce. Is it aioli? Doesn't that usually have like like, garlic like, aioli? Yeah, yeah, garlic aioli is typically sometimes. Is, I, I guess I guess garlic, garlic aioli, yeah, is, is mayonnaise. But I thought aioli had for some reason that. I need to get. Maybe I'm just I, thinking. I know what you guys are talking about. Maybe yeah, it's just crazy. the fact that the times that I get truffle fries at this restaurant, we use aioli sauce. So maybe I'm thinking of two different things. So the problem, the problem heard, is, is that tru- truffle sauce, truffles are expensive. Like they're they're not yeah. in, they're expensive to 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 get. And the shrooms, saying, man. Saying I'm poor yeah, and then, and then to it. get them to get them then refined into a sauce is like it's it's, which is why it's, most it's restaurants don't actually have real truffle stuff. They've got like the mm-hmm. fake truffle shit. But either way, this tastes good. But if you get the one that has real truffle, it's really really good. So you want and, real truffle? Yeah. And 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 I'm and I'm just saying that for your your kitchen cabinet, you know, of seasoning, you know, you get you get a bottle of truffle oil at the grocery store. So yep. can you, you put it, truffle can salt you put, too? You can or the use truffle. It on, look, there's truffle. Can can truffle you put salt. it on? And it, just not just fries. Can you put it on? Put that shit on everything. Yeah, you could. You could put it on other stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not a cooking oil though. Okay. No. So it's not something that you cook with. It's, it's a just a see. It's a yeah. It's a. It's exactly a seasoning. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Next time I'm out shopping, I'm looking. For I'm. I'm, I'm adding that. That to see. We had fart talk. We had truffle talk. You see, the um. The other podcaster who takes notes isn't here, so that's right. Yeah. To... Oh, I got to remember too to have two commercial breaks. I got called out last time. Okay, well let's pull this puppy over. Let's pull this puppy over. Um, over. So let's, speaking let's of menu it. items, no, no, no. Let's take that commercial break. We're gonna no, take a commercial break. Commercial yeah, break. yeah. Let's do it right now. Okay. So speaking of menu items, um, this past weekend I took my annual trip that my wife and I take, which we didn't take last year. So, so much for annual. <laughs> um, but uh, no, we went to Disney last year instead. But we have like our traditional trip up to Portland, Maine, uh, for the weekend. I which, saw that. Uh, you did? Did I post it? No, did she post it. I don't know. I'm not on I'm Facebook anymore, so I don't yeah. know if it's posted over there. Anyway, so we went to Maine, and it was it's it's like the for those who are not from the area or have not been to Maine or or anything like that. Um, Portland, Maine, Southern Maine is a town right in the water that is in the last 10 to 15 years has just exploded as like a culinary and um, like beer center of New England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Every restaurant and almost every bar up there is just excellent. And because, because if you don't have an excellent establishment in that town, you're, you'll go out of business instantly. Um, But everything up there is just so, so so good. Yeah, it has to be quality. It has to be really good restaurants. Like, and we go up there, and it's it's one of those things where we budget it out. Like, we know we're going to go up there and spend money on food and beer. And actually, I from where I think we did a um, Jay and Jack's um, uh, Secret Santa a few years ago, and Chris got me a, um, a gift card to my favorite brewery up there, and I had forgotten to bring it up every year that I've gone. Up. <laughs> 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 and I didn't go up last year, so I got to bring it this year, and um, it took a chunk out of one of my tabs, which is really nice. Thank you, Chris. <coughs> um, but uh, got to go up there this weekend. It was just really awesome. We we 
had a great dinner on Friday night at a seafood restaurant, kind of like a touristy trap type place, but it was still very, very good. Um, and then on Saturday, so I go up there with my my buddy who's he's uh, he's Irish. He's from Ireland. Like he's you know he wasn't born in the United States, so he's like he's so, so he likes his beer. He well yeah he likes his beer. But he also loves his rugby too. And I used to play oh. rugby in college as well. So oh yeah. Um, on that weekend, um, there's like a, like a big rugby tournament, and there's you know Ireland was playing, English England Scotland was playing. And so all in we, all in Maine, Portland Maine. No 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 no, just on TV. Oh on the two. On TV. Okay, uh, but it, it starts at like eight o'clock in the morning because it's it's in Europe. Um, so we get up and like Saturday morning, I wake up and I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm hurting from the night before. So <laughs> I, I I have a decision to make. Like, do I just deal with it, or do I you know? The saying goes, "The hair of the dog," right? So, <laughs> um, he was already down at the at the at the Irish pub. Rira is the name of the bar. Um, he's already there having his breakfast. I stroll in there around ten o'clock in the morning, and I had my first drink of the day at ten a.m. <laughs> and we just it just started. That's the that's the beginning, and I literally drank all day until you one o'clock once, in the morning. Man. I know, but you know what? But it was it was one of those things where it was like perfectly paced throughout the entire evening right or the day and evening because we throughout the day had these little pit stops where we went to all these great restaurants and had unbelievable food um but it's like everything up there is just awesome like so you're always going to get good drinks good beers great food no matter where you go one of my favorite restaurants up there called even tide oyster company you got to sit down and crush a bunch of oysters i think i sent you guys a picture you didn't give a fuck about it. no reaction it's okay but no, uh, we, we, i don't remember saw, seeing it yeah i saw it I, yeah I didn't, jack doesn't give a fuck but anyways um, i don't remember seeing it i mean i <laughs> unless it's a, no. it, that, unless it's an oyster with a guy with a big dick I probably didn't look at it. <laughs> That's weird, but uh, yeah, um, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking. About. I have no idea what um, these guys I mean, are talking uh, about. <laughs> That's, I have no idea what you're saying. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's just it was a day of like just drinking, and we end up like and every year we go up there, we try to go to at least one place we haven't gone to in prior years, and we chose like a, a Korean barbecue joint, and it was like, huh, mind blowingly good. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, granted, I had my fair share of edibles and, and beers throughout the day but like i can still tell you that i would definitely go back there sober so um wonderful day absolutely wonderful day on sounds saturday like a, Had sounds so like a fun. great time yeah well i, I look forward to every year because it's just the kids stay we leave the kids at home and our friends who go up there um so it, it's interesting so it started off with what's that what, what, the kids are with somebody they, can, uh, they take care of each other lost, man lost okay took care of okay i'm just <laughs> you just said we leave the kids at home yeah. Um, so Defend for themselves. I don't want you to get in trouble. I know this has been kind of a, a, a longer story already, but like the, the origin story of this trip was um, in 2011, 12, 2012, my wife was pregnant with my daughter and mm. it was like our last hurrah trip before my daughter was born. I, we went up to Portland, Maine and got an Airbnb somewhere, right? And just hung out. Fast forward like four years later. For Christmas that year, I got my wife and I a trip to Portland at this nice hotel and spa. But unfortunately, this is this, there's a sad story part of the dip here. Sad dip in the story, but it gets better. Um, in between that that year, in between Christmas and um, and uh, the trip, so I booked it for a February vacation. Um, my wife was diagnosed with cancer that year. Right, went through with all the bullshit. So that year's trip, the one I got her for a Christmas gift, was kind of like our last hurrah before she's going into mm. surgery and chemo. Yes. Right. Um, and then fast forward a few years after that, a couple, three years after that, it turned into like, a, we're going up to Portland and it's been opened up to more friends and more friends go. And now it's like a fuck you cancer, uh, trip, <laughs> yeah. right? So, yeah. so it's, it's been a really cool transition where it started, it started off as just the two of us going to, you know, uh, an Airbnb, right? Mm -hmm. and it wasn't even an Airbnb at that time. It was whatever a bed and breakfast of some sort. Um, and then uh, it's transitioned to this thing where we have a, a few different you know, groups of friends that go up there and we just have a fucking blast with, you know, being idiots without kids. Well, the and, way you're selling it, you could probably get a lot of people to go because you're. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, mean, I want to go now. Yeah. <laughs> you come on up, man. It's every year we do. It's, it's the, the week of February vacation week um, of some school. And it's usually the back end um, because it's like the, the last hurrah for my wife before she has to go back to work that week. So. Yeah, it's a great time. If you ever have any questions about going to Portland and me listening, you know, and I'll tell you all the great spots to go to. 
It's a absolutely fucking delight to place, joyful place to go to. And I highly recommend. Did you give Nick some advice and he didn't? He just said, "Fuck it, I'm not going." That's correct. Okay, <laughs> he did that. I, I went to Portland, Maine, with my dad a long, long time ago, back when I was yeah. like probably like 13, and he was single. So it's a lot different now. I mean, mm-hmm. like I'm I mean, sure it, 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 we, it's, we it's, took we took a boat to Bar Harbor. Yeah, um, like from there. So yeah, yeah. And, There's uh, a, yeah. The old port is actually my, my hotel is right next to that that harbor. Oh, okay. Um, but the, it's interesting, right? Cause even the, the state of that town from the first trip we went in 2012 before my daughter was born, it's a completely different place than it was then even now. So mm-hmm. every year it's just gotten better and better and better. And it's, it's turned into like this foodie population. And so somebody, so somebody in the too, government but... was smart and got together and said, Hey, we need to come up with a game plan to get people to come up here and spend their money. Yeah. Right. Is that? It's pretty much it, you know, and it's and it, the ironic part is, is like I've actually never spent time there during the summer. <laughs> I've only gone during the winter because of the timing of the original trip. Right. Oh, so it's like, sure. I've, I've, I've never experienced what it's like. I can only it imagine may, it's, it's probably 10 times better. Yeah, when it's like it's, beautiful out, you know, or I mean? maybe busier, though, too. So yeah, maybe you're true. Going, that's you know, true. You're it's it's, it's, it's right. probably pretty cold up there. Right. I would think. Uh, this past weekend was actually very mild um, up here in the northeast in general. Uh and it's not much of a different climate between there and here. Portland, okay. Maine is like only about two hours north of where I live. So, okay, yeah, it's like it's like maybe forty five minutes north of the border. I, I've never been to Portland, Maine, or Portland, Oregon, or been any both. Portland city in America. Been to both. Yep. No, I, I, li- I lived. I lived I'm near Seattle. Portland. Yeah, Oregon. Everybody's confused. Seattle. Well, Seattle and Portland are kind of like sister cities. And they, have the they, only, they only have they also have their own rivalry too so they don't i do that really portland, Seattle. yeah oh. yeah i mean there's a there's a bit of a of a rivalry to you know because portland seattle's always so much bigger than what portland is but portland you know they, well, they seattle has Grey's things. anatomy so well and portland has portlandia so. oh portlandia that's true yeah <laughs> Um, well, the, the Portland has a basketball team still, and Seattle does it. But Seattle, well, has, that, that is Seattle, true. Seattle mm-hmm. got hosed on that deal. Yeah. It's like most cities where you lose your team, mm-hmm. it's because it's like, how did we lose our team? But you know, I've been there, so it's like, but anyway, Seattle's the Supersonics should have never, they were supported. Anyway, that's, I'm, I'm not going to go to my soapbox. I, I, I still, I still root for Portland Trailblazers, just, you know, I identify as. Because I lived across the border from Portland, Oregon. So you're a Bill so. Walton fan? I like Bill Walton. Yeah. I bet sure. you do. <laughs> I bet you do. I, 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 I did, you I did do. when uh, when he was a free agent back in the day and the Clippers had were just one year, I he was doing sit ups at this health spot I was at. So I went next to him being a smart ass kid. You trip over his teeth? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he had a cast on at the time. And I'm sitting next to him. So I'm doing sit-ups. I'm going, oh, my gosh. Oh, if the Clippers only had a center. Oh. But free agency wasn't really free agency back then. I mean, so he signed, He does sign. So I take credit for him signing with the Clippers. Did you talk with him at all? Or did you, did you just have these offhand comments while you were doing sit-ups? <laughs> <laughs> he just looked at me and laughed and said, <laughs> just kind of laughed and got up and walked away. Because I was just a snot-nosed kid. I was like, I was like 18, 19, maybe. Anyway, so I did the whole time going down. So I took, for the longest time, took credit for him signing with the Clippers. I go, yeah, look, if I don't do sit-ups next to him, he's going to sign <laughs> with someone else. Now, when he signed, Portland filed a grievance against the Clippers because some I, there was no, they didn't get any compensation because their free free agency wasn't really free agency. What if you what if time. you were like a time traveler, like Quantum Leap? You like somebody leapt into your body just to like make you do this stupid thing you know like if we uh, make this kid do this stupid thing then it, that could have been it but no i did a lot of stupid things like that so i was a smart ass but anyway <laughs> so but watching you know, a lot we, of time travel stuff, so, so we lost so we lost kermit washington draft choices some other players cash for bill walton but we're saying what's the big fucking deal we got bill walton who's one of the best basketball players in the game right huge deadhead too and he's from he was born in San Diego. He's a he's a he's still in San Diego. He's a huge, you know, he's he's about San Diego. So it was all right. This is gonna turn the Clippers over the top. This is before we got Donald Sterling, too, by the way. If you heard about Donald Sterling, we're so in professional sports history. So anyway, it for the next, I think, three seasons of the contract, Bill Walton played a total of 14 games because he had foot problems. So then he goes to Boston. I'm like, why is Boston signing this guy? 
becomes a six man of the year mm -hmm. championship, another championship. And it's like, I go only that only happens to San Diego <laughs> only. So not only did we lose every, and then after that, the owner of the Clippers said, ah, you know what? I, I who would, who had traded, he used to own the Boston Celtics. This is the worst trade in sports history. He traded the Boston Celtics for the Buffalo Braves and then moved the Buffalo Braves to San Diego. And part one of the picks was he, they traded a first, he had to trade a first round pick to Boston, which turned out to be, say it, Larry Bird. Oh. So not only did the, did he trade, the Celtics for the Buffalo Braves moved him to San Diego because he was in uh, TV and movies and wanted to be closer to LA. He <laughs> traded, we had to somehow they had to throw in a pick and it turned out to be Larry Bird. Hmm. So t t when people say worst trade in sports histories, that is, has to be the worst trade in sports history. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, and That's then amazing. his son, his son kept telling him not to sell the team because because the, the NBA back then wasn't very, it wasn't profitable, it wasn't like it is today. And he said, nah, I just want to get out of it." And so he sold it to Donald Sterling, who is the complete worst owner in the history of professional and tore the team apart, and it never had a chance. And then they, he always wanted to move it to LA. Sounds familiar with the football team we had, and rest is history. But he always regretted selling the team. I said, "Well, fuck you." Anyway, huh. so I used to go to a lot of games. I I loved I love basketball. And anyway, I got screwed. But that that's my uh... that's your Bill Walton story. Yeah, Bill Walton yeah. story. Um, <laughs> I um, I the retired work... guy says, uh, "I'm sorry, real fast, Matt." Sure. If Jack was a time traveler, he'd go back in time and give Spanos' father a condom. <laughs> <laughs> awesome and sadly it would be like you come back and somehow dinosaurs are ruling the united states yeah it's true oh wait they are um hey oh hey i got that one yeah, yeah. Oh, one, one just quit yeah sure nobody, uh nobody should be in the senate for 40 fucking years okay go ahead yeah no ahead. no that's it's too long uh just finished watching quantum leap um i hope they do a third season oh it got um, better I think the second season is is like there's there's things that happen in the second season that I was really happy about and I was really happy with the end of season two. So it was um I go back and start watching so, it again. Um but before you do, before you you should finish the Orville. Um and uh the last while episode, you, well, yeah wait, second to last episode I watched was the one where the doctor falls in love with the robot or the AI. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. going, okay, this is getting to a point where it's kind of, mm, yeah, weird. Yeah, but no, it's, it's it but, goes uh, into and, some and different episode, territories. And the next yeah. episode is one where the guy, basically, they were saying, what, what are the guys that only they're the, they're only guys, men. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this man, the, mm -hmm. and this, he likes women. So it the the whole premise oh, of the story is right, just right. around where how could you think that way? There's something mm -hmm. wrong with you. And yeah. Anyway, I, I I love how they put the political twist in these shows. And mm -hmm. anyway. No, it makes you think. It makes you think yeah. of like, oh hey, you know, what what would a society society like this find? You know. Yeah. Um Chris, where are you at on, on your Better Call Saul watch? I am on season five. Season five. Yeah. You know, so the episode. season of, of which I'm in, uh, the episode that I'm on, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, is um, when Mike walked by the group of hooligans that he once got oh. to an altercation with and got stabbed. And mm -hmm. he woke up in some like random some place. Like, yeah. You're place. Like, where the fuck is he? That's the episode that I'm on right now. OK, but, that's so good. It's, it's starting to get into uh, a little bit of how. So we we now have Saul. He's now changed himself to Saul Goodman, right? Right. And we're we're starting to see so, like so spoilers how... for for Better Call Saul, by the way. So right, it took about <laughs> five seasons to get him to get his, the name of the show. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's he's starting to like begrudgingly be a part of the cartel business now mm -hmm. because he's kind of got pulled in. Um, there's one really cool cinematic. I feel like the cinematography of the show 
as the seasons got progressed, got really fucking good. Oh, we lost Jack. Oh, wow. Um, it got really, really good to the, in the sense that like it's almost as if they were just really trying to telegraph things, right? Like so, like uh, what was what was the thing that happened? Like he, he dropped his ice cream cone, right? Mm-hmm. Like he was, yeah, was, like, the ice cream cone like represented like his his like success, his joy, and, this, like, and his success, and joy, and then, and he yeah. he it gets yanked from life's him, going then, his way, and right, yeah. and then like and it's like what are you guys talking about? Episode uh, the ice cream off. cone. And then, like, and like the very oh, next yes, episode, yes. it's like a callback, and the, and like yep. everything that just de- decimated all the ants came all in and ants, like just yeah. destroyed it. So it's it, it's it was just a really cool representation of like of you know him getting to that pinnacle of like his mm-hmm. he's like independent and like successful and he's happy doing what he's doing, and right. then Boom. shit hits the fan. Right? They pulled yeah. me um, back in. Yeah, you well, know, and I just think they do a they do a really nice job of 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 filming I, this show. Like yeah, it's very I, very well done. I'm yeah, glad because, you. Uh, it's like every first episode, like you said, like that episode where you're sitting there and you see the the ant, the one ant, and that's yeah, and, and it's like you sit there and you go, it's just amazing how they film. The, yeah, I think so I cool. think the beginning, you know, this is something too. Like as you know, I'm now furthest along. I'm in season six, episode ten or nine. Oh, I'm, I'm, re- I'm, I'm really no episode nine, and there's a guest star in this one. I'm not going to give it away, but the guest star you know it's like i could hear her voice but then when i saw her name on the episode i was like oh, oh my my. When i saw her naked i thought that's what you're gonna say no 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 um but the opening it doesn't matter where you are in the season the opening to every single episode is so arty and so it sometimes it has everything to do with the episode and sometimes it has nothing in it right and no the, yeah. the way they approach it it's just like they're just having fun and i i I'm I'm going to watch Breaking Bad after this. But right now, Better Call Saul like the Weights of Justice, I, I think it's slightly I like it just slightly a little bit more. Well, I think it's an extension of It is an extension. Obviously, it's such a Breaking Bad and I think they But it could, they, it could were, be one of the best prequels ever. Yeah, I mean like Nick, it's, it's Nick, really Nick talked it up and I was yeah. like and like and it's, I, it's it's actually like a phenomenal TV show. Yeah. Like a, the, and the, I, and the first season, you. yeah, the first season was kind of slow. It's a slow burn. Well, the first two seasons, really. I think I, yeah. I, I made that reference. Like I think yeah. season three is like the first time you get the oh shit, uh huh, yeah, moment. Oh, for right? sure. Or is it four? Sure. I can't remember. But either I mean, way, like like it, it it's yeah. such a huge build up. And like again, you you fall in love with TV shows because of the characters, right? Mm-hmm. Like I very quickly. Like quickly got yes. all in on and on and Saul and Kim. And we've Kim Wexler. We've, oh, oh my I gosh, we've raved. Love we've her. raved about he, Kim. He, he did. He did go up and because one of the characters yeah, says, "Oh, yeah. you uh, uh huh, yeah, okay, <laughs> you yeah, went you, up, a, you, you went up a, yeah, respect, yeah. yeah. I she she is just so fully formed and realized character, and and I just to me and and now being this far into season six it's like she's the heart of the show and you worry about her because if you've watched breaking bad you're like where's she at where's she at and and it's kind of this nagging feeling as you're watching the show like oh you better not you better not do anything to kim you better not do anything to kim well (laughs) there's there's uh i I think it's it might be season five or it might be season. I don't want to spoil anyone. Don't. Right. There's, right, no there's, a, there's a flash. There's a flashback of her right. as a child. Yeah. And you understand, okay, just that short little, that's yeah. how brilliant this show is. Yeah. It's like five or six minutes. It, and, and, and it shows you why she's with Saul. Yeah. And why she's sure. making the decisions she's doing and why yep. she's doing. But we never got pro that. Pro work. We never gotten characters like that with like Skyler or um, you know. No, um, but you you and, get you get. I mean, it's it's just again, oh. it's not. It's like, like Lost would do a hundred flashbacks to give us mm-hmm. a. They do okay, it in this, one. This is like five minutes, and you're like, yep. like oh, uh, she's with him mm-hmm. because yeah. okay, got it. Yeah, and, 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 and they don't they don't say it. They just it no, just show they it. just show it, and, and that's it's, what it's, it makes it. What's beautiful. crazy to me too is that like you know in. It's their fourth 45 minute episodes, right? Yeah, sometimes 50. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Something there are like off. four like big gun characters on this show, and they yeah. get to their story 
every episode every episode and it's crazy how they can weave it together oh my gosh yeah. like and, and you're, these... you're getting batman mike right you're yeah. gonna get kim dealing with her shit on trying to like like trying to well so spoilers sorry right trying to like separate herself from from um saul jimmy Is she right but like but like <laughs> can't and comes yeah. back and then but 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 now we know the reason mean, why but Jimmy's got all of his shit happening and mm -hmm. you're going through all that. And then you got like in season four or whatever it is, you're getting uh uh fucking what's his nuts? Um uh uh oh my god, Fring, Gus yep. you know, Gus Fring. Fring. And like you're getting that, and then you get the whole like construction thing mm -hmm. of the cook, uh the kitchen yep. that they're building, and you're like, This is all fucking happening in 45 minutes. Like every yeah. episode's got so much shit in it. Um yeah, yeah I don't. Go, I don't want the it episodes to go. The episodes go by fast, because super you know, fast, because and and they always no leave long. you. They always leave you like I kind of want to need. I just need to see the opening of the next episode, and then you yeah. watch the opening of the next episode. And it's this. Like, fuck, I'm going in for another like episode. This, episode. <laughs> it's just like this little poem. It doesn't even give you the answer. No, it's like you left on a cliffhanger. Guess what? We're showing you ants eating an ice cream cone. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> no, it's it's. But you're it's, watching. Uh, the, going, man, those ants are going to town on that. Ice we've. Cream. We've been we've been excited to watch the show. Hopefully, the listeners are excited to hear that we're watching the show. Maybe it's Nick. Some, Nick some was right. Check it out. I mean, Nick was. Don't tell me you said that out loud, though. Yeah, I'll. No, I'll I, say, can't. I, I mean, I I had watched it at the same time. I think it started with him, but I I right. stopped for some for mm. some reason after season three. I stopped. I mean, I think it was like a break before they would show it on Netflix. Netflix. Whatever it was, because yeah. I didn't have I didn't have. Uh, well, and I there's was been it times where. Yeah, yeah, AMC. There's I been times in which, which I, yeah, I didn't have Netflix even, and uh, you know, yeah, I, I was, just went, I'll catch up with it, and then mm -hmm. I was, I was like, shit, it's over. Totally bingeable. Totally, this oh, is it, it's 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 crazy bingeable. Yeah, and, and uh, what, where are you at? Well, I don't. Do you know? Did you see the flashback of uh, Young Kim, Chris? No. Okay, then I won't okay. go any further. Yeah, but it it, um, it, 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 like I said. That's how brilliant this show is. It right there, you watch it, you go, her characters explain, and you you understand everything because, like you're saying, she should be okay. You need to go, Kim. You need to go, mm -hmm. Kim. You need to go, Kim. Yeah, and she doesn't, yeah. and and now you know why. Because mm -hmm. we the like we the, love Kim. We the, like the, Jimmy. We like Jimmy, but we like him more. It, the way that the show is is framed too, there's not like the falling action can happen in the middle of the season. You know, where it's like, it's not like we're waiting to the very season finale. You know, they'll have some big moments for the season finals, but you'll be in the middle of the season and you're like, oh shit, shit's yep. going down. Like, yeah, this, the episode this... I just I watched last night is like, ah, oh. mm. I, like I like that character. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. Mm. All right. Yep. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But like you said, they didn't drag this thing out. Nope. They could have, nope. like most shows would have dragged that out but until. They, but the they, end. but when they play it, they play it well. And right. I think that's the. It's like they know, like, hey, when we get to this, this is how yeah. you know it's going to be meaningful. And so. it, it's really one thing has taught me from watching Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I don't want to be a drug dealer. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I couldn't handle it. I don't have to shoot people. Yeah. I mean, I, I like know. the gobs of money. I'm not gonna. I'm the not gobs lie. of money are really cool. So it's like, yeah. Uh, I mean, like cash, when cash that porn. in Breaking Bad, where he had the storage unit, the, and uh huh, just showed all the cash. All the cash. I mean, that's yeah. pretty cool. But yeah, but it's, I, it's a lot of I, faith in that storage unit, though. Yeah, I, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have to go through laundering it and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I don't want to buy a car wash or a chicken shack or chicken shop. Oh yeah, the car wash. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be nice to to rewatch Breaking Bad after this because of um, just it's been a while since I've seen Breaking Bad, so it's been a little it's it's a little you know it's like is I it, remember is it on characters. Is it on Netflix and, too? It's also on Netflix yeah. as well. Yep. And maybe I so. I got so many because we got Apple TV now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you got Masters of the Air. Masters of the Air. I, I and Nick was right about that too. I don't know if he was just joking, but something he said last week. It looks like it's. I mean, not a. Hundred percent, but it was like, okay, he said something like that, and so fucking Nick, man. <laughs> Before you got on, Chris, uh, Matt thought it'd be funny to do a versus. <coughs> yeah, him. and so I came up with 
your favorite generals of the Civil War. And they'd, <laughs> all be, they'd all be generals from the North. <laughs> Dude, I'm picking General Kenobi. That's my favorite General Civil Kenobi. War general. <laughs> so that's uh anyway, we thought about that and yeah, but anyway. <laughs> I mean, he'd be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, well Matt said he goes, I'm only gonna pick winners. <laughs> uh there's a lot there's a sh- episode of MASH where mm. five o'clock five o'clock Charlie is trying to bomb this. They, they they stored all these weapons next to a hospital, and mm-hmm. every day at five o'clock, this guy in a in a old airplane drops a bomb, trying to hit the target, trying to hit the explosive blow away. So they bet on know all the stuff. The general comes down, and the general's like going, "It's perfect. It's this perfect strategy. Uh, you put the bomb, you put all the explosives and stuff next to a hospital. We learned that from the Germans." <laughs> and I think Hawkeye goes, "Oh, great! Now we're taking it." Uh, Taking advice from the losers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, that's good. It's it's funny. Um, fired up, man. Fired up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Masters of the Air is outstanding. I watched the first episode of uh, um, um, I'm drawing up for all mankind. Oh, oh I, yeah, I, I could get back to that. I've completely yeah. forgotten. And it's like there's what seven or eight years. I think, like I said, what I like is they start the episode and then they show what happens over time. You know, they always go, some is real and some is not real, how they go back and forth. And it was a good episode. It it, it, it just takes a while to get back into it. And you know, Yeah, characters. I think I think Nick had said that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Again, Nick was right oh. again. I Nick. Okay. Kind of smart, Nick. dude. Yeah. But I, I, I'm trying to finish Better Call Saul so I can go watch that. Right. Sure. No, I, I, I've I, been meaning to finish um, the uh, True Detective story. Um, it, it's really hard. You know, again, if you're not connecting with the characters, you don't care as much about the plot. No, you and, don't. And you got to have you got to have characters that you, you, you know, can connect characters with. Characters matter. They do. I mean, it's 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 OK to have unique characters, but like some hook some some way in or some something that i don't know i don't so know what it is about you, yeah you just don't like putting it. putting two and two together for, for the whole like i mentioned before like I, I think that my favorite show is the ones of the characters that just you latch on to right star was lost and all that type of stuff i think i may have just found the justification as of to my recent obsession with watching wrestling <laughs> i don't know if you guys have have Kept tabs on WWE wrestling or any of the wrestling federations. Can at I say all. something? Never. Please, no, no, oh, never, never. I've as never a kid, I loved it. it. As a I, kid, well, I loved it, and I, I will, adult. I will absolutely admit right now that I've got the bug again for like being. I used to like, ro- I used to like roller derby. Yeah, and but, that was when I found it was fake. Kind of broke my heart. I roller think that derby's fake. Yeah, I think that the the whole like the the business of like professional wrestling is mm-hmm. like it, it it blows me away like i get caught up on like in, in tiktok watching like miniature clips from like documentaries and stuff so i'm like you getting to hear all the stories about the behind the scenes of like the promotions and things they used to do back before wwe and then when or f or whatever you want to call it um but then like how everything kind of like really got kick started again in the 80s when the mcmahon family like took took over the world of wrestling and the business side. He seems, like, he seems like a stand-up guy. He's a piece of shit, too. <laughs> like the stories that are coming out about that whole thing are, are awful. Yeah. But I've always been just like so fascinated with that industry and how the whole thing works. Um, but the, it, the whole that thing's whole built on characters. You, I've, I've been watching yeah. for a few weeks now, and now I'm like invested in this character's development in this world that they're creating. It's it's a ton of fun to watch. Didn't really Rocky? Is. Didn't Rocky three help promote? Because um, you had Mr. T, you had uh, Hulk Hogan. Wasn't Hulk Hogan yep. in that? <laughs> yeah. Didn't, didn't that help promote um, wrestling? Uh, I would assume it would. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that was that was. I mean, like that was that was like right when it started rising up, right? Right. Like yeah. In the eighties. I'm just know? saying because well, you had you see then, you like, see you see Thunderlips who is Hulk Hogan. A, 
wasn't Stallone was, wasn't Stallone's mom involved with uh, women's the female wrestling? wrestling? Yeah, yeah. Oh no shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She, she's behind the uh, the uh, glow. The glow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which if I still haven't seen the final episode yet. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like shows. Glow. I like. I love Glow. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. Sometimes you get to a show and you're like, I don't want to watch the last one, or you yeah. forget about it. You know, maybe I didn't um, like the main character, uh, the guy. He stole oh, the he stole the podcast. Well, get the fuck over it. No, sorry, I can't. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, you think you could be acting on screen with Allison Brie and pulling your weight? Well, why not? I mean, he does it. I, yeah, I'm some hack sure. podcast he had. Okay. Took our award. Whatever. The, Mar the original, the original Married Man show was up against an award for, against him. Okay. I'd never heard. Of, I'd never heard of the guy till then. Then yeah. he steals our award. I, go, Fuck I don't think it was your award. It was. Uh huh. I was just, walking up on I stage think and collecting because I was so good. And then grateful they announced that you were nominated in the same category no, as someone. I, no, no. I, that that's nobody's. By the way, by the way, they want to win. Inquiring minds want to know. Um, Allison Brie, the nude shot and glow, like. Is that is that a body double? Like, is that her? Like, I never just, saw it. Okay, well, I want to think it's episode, her. but uh, maybe I will see it now. I think, <laughs> I think your love of wrestling and characters, you might enjoy that. You've never seen it. It's actually no. pretty good, except for yeah. the, the the guy character. Can't remember his name. Get the fuck out of here. What's his name, Matt Treese? What's his name? But anyways. Yes, award been, dealer. Been into it. You know, I, I think it kind of got amplified when that movie came out, The Iron Claw. You know, mm -hmm. which was again, that's a phenomenal flick. I highly recommend it. Terrible story. Terrible, like <laughs> no, but like the, the story it tells is terrible. Um, but it gives you like a behind the scene glimpse of like what that wrestling li life was before WWF. So, like all the regional like business, right? Like you know, divisions and stuff. But yeah, it's just. It's been so much fun to watch. The Royal Rumble was like a week and a half ago. I got to watch a Royal Rumble. Like I remember being a kid watching the Royal Rumble. I think it was like the best. Royal Rumble. And then WrestleMania is, is coming up in uh, April. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm fully invested. I'm a fucking wrestling nerd now. Well, that, hey, <laughs> does it make you happy? Yeah. yeah Life is short, so fuck it. I just, I, yeah. I still remember I was, I was playing hockey and we're, Sitting there, and all these guys are on the team are talking. Oh, no, no, no. I, I finally turned around and I go, You know, it's fake. And they go, Fuck you. I go, Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> these are my teammates telling me to fuck off because I'm like, But they were talking like they were watching the Super Bowl or something. I go, It's fake. Did you see when he took his arm and said, I go, Fucking losers. Anyway, it's and they took, so they it's, took, they it's took fake in the sense it. that it's not. You know, well, I mean, it's they're they're really slim. I mean, they're I mean, but it's 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 scripted, yeah, yeah, so. somewhat, somewhat. There's somewhat. a lot, I mean, a lot they, of it is like they know who's gonna you know, win. Oh, yeah, like the, they'll of course they do, but like it's just the the way they execute it is it's, mm -hmm. it's fucking awesome. That's, that's all I'm saying. It's, 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 it's like, like in, I said, so, roller derby some of the athletic ability of these, of these people fake. is the athletic ability of these guys blows my mind. Like, watch the, the stuff that they do. Yeah, yeah. No, and they do get hurt. Yeah, of course. And it, I mean, it's yeah. acrobatics too. You know, right. it's a lot of like. So, no, it's um, like the big guy in wrestling right now. One of them is Dusty mm -hmm. Rhodes. Uh, no, not Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes' son. I don't know if you, you probably remember Dusty Rhodes from like the eighties. He's like a big I remember, deal I remember wrestler. Dusty Rhodes back in the day. Like his Dusty son, Rhodes, who's like our age, is or a little bit younger than us, is like the big. Huh. Main event wrestler now, so he's just um, a little bit younger than me. Yeah, no, you said you said our no. age. Well, us. I said us, like us, boop, 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 oh. the, the forty well, year olds. I I'm here. I'm um, just I'm sticking in that. Why don't you say like wrestling. Matt? And the Rock <laughs> is back in the mix too. Oh, okay, yeah. <coughs> John the retired guy, yeah. Cody Rhodes. Cody American Rhodes, Nightmare. take me home. Formerly Stardust. <laughs> You heard the guy saying, it's trying real. to sing, it's real to it's me. It's real to me. Well, yeah, he's on the show right now. I can, I'm looking right at him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's so much fun to watch. I, 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 I you know, I, I, I don't criticize people who want to watch that stuff. I don't, that's, 
watch it. I, 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 a, a big, a big impact on my, like, on my attraction to the, to watching it now. Did you have the toys? Did you have the wrestling uh, toys? Well, as, yeah, I mean, as a kid, I did. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, the, the mid to late eighties and early nineties yeah. wrestling was like was fucking mm, amazing. It was huge. Yeah, it was so big. But yeah, I don't know. It's just and then, well, you mentioned you mentioned Vince McMahon. I had I just had a question. Why does it seem like all these rich people and famous people have ties to human trafficking? Dude, I don't know. I mean, you That's, look at you look at Epstein's Island and what was yeah. going on there, and they had to know what was going on. Harvey Weinstein. I mean, they knew, yet they still Crazy. gave this guy standing ovations and stuff. I just, I don't know. Um, well, side note. Chris, once you get done with breaking or, or better call Saul glow, or even just yeah. check out the first episode and see, cause I mean, if you're in the wrestling mood, it, it is really, uh, uh, I like, it, it's, it's a really good show. Yeah. Again, cool. except for that one guy. <laughs> um, and does, Stephanie, does, Stephanie McMahon is beautiful. Is she? Is, yeah. is that, is that where we have to take our commercial break? Our second commercial break? Nice. I think so. Well, on that note, we'll just close the show out. Well, I got a few more shows. I though. kid, I kid. Oh, okay. Um, Cindy and I, because Cindy's now addicted to, well, she's watch, re-watching The Crown on Netflix, which is screwing up my Better Call Saul time. But she said, oh, look at all these shows on Apple. I go, yeah, I've been telling you this for a long it's time. Tons. <laughs> I go, I go there's, she goes, I can, there's so many shows to watch. I don't know what to watch. I go, yeah, I've been telling this for a while now that we should get Apple and cancel some of these <laughs> other ones. She goes, well, I can't do that because this show's coming back and I can't do that because I go, I go, I don't watch those. I go, yeah. anyway. But she, the other night, she she picked uh, this show called Hijack. Oh, yeah. Was it Idris Elba? Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with him, right? Right. Right. And I, I start, she, we started watching it. She goes, you might like this. this is she started watching. Goes, I go, I go, what are you watching? Of course, she doesn't. I, I always ask her, hey, do you want to watch this? I think you might like it. No. I'm not, I, that's probably not exactly how she says it. It's probably usually a lot louder. Well, louder just, and, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, yeah, 35 years of marriage will do that. Yeah, exactly. So, but I said, she, I, she, she looks at me and she goes, ah, ah. okay, I already started it, but I think you might like this show. I said, sure, I'll give it a shot. So we started at like eight o'clock, and there's only seven episodes. We watched it, we finished it that night. Oh wow! It, it, was, it was that good and that it, that intense, and it has all these twists and turns and stuff going on. And it really had it, it almost it, like two. You're going, okay, what would I do in that situation? I don't want to spoil anyone, but it, you know, Idris is, you know, I call him Idris. We're <laughs> you guys are buds. <laughs> Yeah, we're buds. You we know. need dress, you know. I I can kick a soccer ball. I'm not like Jim. Um, I was but, wondering uh, if we we're gonna get a office reference to. You, you have, you have yeah, to. You have to. Uh, um, and he's a he's a pretty guy. I mean, let's face it. Yeah, he's a, sure. And I, I, I look funny. I didn't realize he was English until because you watch The Wire, mm -hmm. and he has an American accent. And then when I watched, I was like, wait a minute. Well, Luther is British. Show, yeah, right. And he has a Luther moment in the show because I always said, oh. if you're watching the episode of Luther, he, what does he do? <laughs> he does that thing with his hand. He does it on hijack. I go, Luther, <laughs> which I still haven't seen the final season of. But anyway, uh, if you if you want good suspense and it was it was entertaining and it was like okay, drama and what's going to happen next, watch hijack. Hijack. Hi, Jack. I got that a lot as a kid because people go, hi, Jack, to Cuba. Because <laughs> there were a lot of hijackings back then, back when I was a kid. I'm like going, ah, that's funny. That's terrible. Yeah. So, so bad. Um, but Better Call Saul and the uh, uh, the Orville is still good. And that's pretty much all I got. Better Call Saul really likes their teeth brushing moments, by the way. They do. Yes. yes. It's like. A, I noticed that. Like, what yeah. is that about? Yeah. I think it's just like a symbol of the everyday life and like, but also yeah. keeping clean, maybe. I, like, I don't like, like Jimmy. Can I like, just say, it? I don't like Jimmy's hair. I like Jimmy's hair. I don't like I, that part where I just do I something. Get it. Put some I, hairspray on I, it. I, yeah. I, like, I don't like, I like it. it. Again, it's another uh, thing with Kim. Are we looking at the same guy, Kim? Are we looking at the <laughs> same guy? 
I mean, what do you see? Am I right? I think she saw. Uh, I think she saw Mr. Show back in the '90s, and she was like, "That guy's cute." <laughs> he's, he's, got, he's got a good personality. I, I won't. He, he, but come on. I I had to play uh, just because I've been watching watching the it. Drug uh, dealer was right. <laughs> I had to go back and uh, watch um, some Mr. Show clips. So. One of my favorite ones, all-time favorite ones, America Blows Up the Moon. If you haven't seen it, just Google America Blows Up the Moon, Mr. Show. Hilarious. So America Blows Up the Moon. Or Mr. Show, uh, there's a change change for a dollar. That's a really good one, too. Change so, for a dollar. Yeah. Change for a dollar. Change for a dollar, Mr. Oh, hey, uh, update on my back, because I know everybody was w- worried about that. Yeah, but, I, was, um, I, I haven't slept all week. It was, I, I was trying, I was like, okay, if I could just, if I can just get to the other side of this, right? Like, it'll be better. And then, I don't know, it was like, it was not. So I finally just did the thing that you need to do. Went to the clinic, saw a nurse practitioner, and she was like, you know, they did an x-ray. So, and they, you know, so nothing was wrong with my spine. I don't have any slipped disc, well, which of course, good. no compression on my spine. So everything's... What, Everything's what, can fine. We stop bragging. <laughs> I have no problems with my nerves being pinched. Apparently. Uh, anyway, la di fucking da. That's what Jack just did. Why, why don't you just take so. my podcast award too? I, have, <laughs> you just I did. It? I called up Mark Marin, and he was going to actually gift me. Mark Marin, that's the asshole. Uh, <laughs> no, but I they they gave me some some steroids. Um, to help fight the uh, inflammation, so I rushed my poop for this. <laughs> I... Reference joke of poop. Um, yes, that's true. So did it work? Yeah, I've been. Uh, this is my third day of of the steroids. Um, you look bigger. You, you look jacked. <laughs> I'm so jacked. <laughs> Your head is like this big now. I yeah. I know. Dude, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I was working so hard. I just cranked one drawing out. You know, like in one night. Like, yeah! I must draw this. <laughs> no, it, it it's it's weird though because it it makes me it makes me more like Arr! like I can I can tell the road rage. The road it's rage. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like road I'm just rage, like yeah. ro- oh for sure it's a thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, you do so, seem a little angry today, but I, I wouldn't. I, uh, you know, I'm actually like happier though because I don't have this pain. Like the the pain is subsiding. She also <laughs> prescribed me some muscle relaxers, which um, yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> you know, they, they gave me those. It didn't work. It just got ugly. I I I try to take them at night. You know, not during the day. So yeah. I mean, that's what the edibles are for. My wife's always get the heating pad. Get the heating pad. I go. Heat, it just heating makes pad my and back hot. Yeah, <laughs> it just. I've done. It just. Do you have swass? Yeah, it does. I, do you do? I, do you do cold, cold, cold and hot? Do you, yeah, she's, do you alternate? She's she's, she's trying because I used to do that because I sprained my ankles all the time. Right. It was hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah, mm. and it's 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 just too far gone now. It just eventually you just have you know you it's it's done. There, there is okay, a period. He, like I said, it just like I said, it, I go, I'm dying over here. There, like, there is a period with a bruise. <laughs> there is a period with a bruise. If you have a bruise, that you actually don't want heat in the first forty eight hours because the heat draws the blood to it. So you're just pooling that blood, and you actually want cold for the first um, forty eight hours and not hot. And then after that, um, then you want to alternate that stuff. So. But she'll so, say, "Why don't you put something cold on it?" I go, "Can you give me your heart?" It it only oh, <laughs> thirty five years, yeah, thirty five years, and this is all I get. You're so funny. <laughs> I'll stop caring about you. Thank God, yes, yes, it worked, it worked. I'm just gonna course, put that I'm in just, the show. I'm notes. just, I'm just kidding. This is a married man show. No, right? I'm, I'm putting. <laughs> you know, I have a list of of what we talked about, and I'm gonna put Matt bitches about his back. <laughs> um, and then Jack, Jack bitches about his wife. <laughs> 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 it's going in there. <laughs> uh, I can't lie. I mean, <laughs> I'm at 20 years. Coming up on 20 years, it'll be like 20 that's in big, October. A, so, yeah. and yeah, um, I, I've been with her for 21 years. 
You've been married for. See, I've been 38 years. 14 and a half years now. Almost 15 oh, okay. Years. 14. Yeah. I think we... my, I had to give a toast. My wife said, give up and say something. I go at the dinner we went to. And I go, well, I had nothing prepared. I go, wasn't it something? Wasn't it enough? I said something nice on Facebook about you. <laughs> so I, 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 I wish you happy birthday, damn it. <laughs> yeah. So I got up and started saying something. I go, yeah, I'll kind of tell a little story. I said, well, we went to Vegas. That's where we got married. And we're, you know. I go, we already had Jay, part of the family. I go, and Heather, my oldest daughter. I go, you were technically there. So, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say. I'm just like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I, she goes, tell the thing about, I guess so I start telling this. And she, then she interrupts me and she tells the story. I go, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagine, like your 40th anniversary. You're going to be like, okay, so. Um, I won't be able to stand up then. You, Yeah. You're just gonna be going down the line, be, like okay. Hope the will be in a rascal. <laughs> wow! It just continuously hot and cold, hot and cold. <laughs> I like the idea of you bringing up like the different sexual positions that you use to have. Like, well, we conceived you in the back of a blah blah blah, and we conceived you well, in this. Heather, Heather was in it, most likely a jacuzzi, and so was my youngest daughter. So, <laughs> at different hotels. I'm saying this is 40, 40 year. <laughs> anniversary material here you know you gotta yeah okay you know, I, I, so I, I, you gotta really to, because it, by that time their kids are gonna be, be old be... enough that they're gonna be like pop <laughs> <laughs> he taught us what how to fart <laughs> and now he's teaching us about sex <laughs> and well, i think sperm would now realize it's only five years now, I think that's, that's a little gross because it's only, uh, the youngest is only not even a year yet i know so he wouldn't be six. Well, it's, it might go so over his should head. Should he be learning about sex? Right. Six. Don't know. I mean, yeah. all in public school. Better to yeah. teach that anyway. They, they, they don't teach sex at six. They're just trying to teach you how to fucking read. Uh, <laughs> I think they've given that up. They said it's easier to teach kids about it's sex. It's easier to teach kids <laughs> sex. It, well, keeps kids, their, it keeps their attention. Here's a banana and here's a tailpipe. <laughs> it used and, to be, see, see Spot Run, see Jane Run, see. Was it what was the kid's name? Uh, uh Jack, Jim, J no, Jane Run, Spot Jane, Run, Jack. Dick. No, it wasn't. I don't think Dick. It was, Jack. it was Dick. It was Dick, Dick and Jane. Yeah, see, yeah. Dick. So that's where I the, the kids aren't paying attention. So I said, All right, we're just gonna teach you about sex, right? He goes, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because at and least that's, paying attention. And that's it's, where it's easier on the teacher, right? And that's where um, the, the band name Jane's Addiction came from. I knew that. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm it's... just making a fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I knew shit. I knew that shit. wasn't true. James addiction. But wasn't there something? Wasn't there a rumor that that's what it came from or something? <laughs> no, I just no, made I it know. up. No, I, I've heard that. No, no I've heard are that you before. Serious? Are you serious? I swear. Jane's to God, heard... addiction came from Dick and Jane. I. I've maybe a comedian said it. I don't know. Okay. I've heard that before. Yeah, it was, it was Matt Eikhoff. Googling it right now. <laughs> oh, shit. I've never said my last name on air. Damn oh, it. Strike that another, from the record. Okay. Yeah. It never happened. Yeah, no. um, where's Matt Treese? I don't want to be, I don't want to be had... prosecuted in a court of law. I've been seeing the backside of the underside <laughs> of law now. And I'm kind of, yeah. kind of thinking that uh, I, I could represent myself. Well, you could have a bring a fake family with you. Yeah, that's the that's the key. So yeah. I don't know what that references, but um, um what um wh what do we, do we have any letters? Emails. <laughs> emails? <laughs> I don't know if I know the uh, password anymore. Uh, well, aren't you logged in to to the Google anyway to get to this? I'll, I, I'll, I will look. I'm looking right now. Okay. As Jack looks, do, 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 let's do, do, do. ponder what Jack was thinking when he put the banana uh, as Jennifer Grey uh, from Dirty Dancing as his. And that, and I'll just want to say that's the original banana. It has had no work done. It has no work. Okay. <laughs> Nobody puts banana in the corner. I'm just kidding. She can do whatever she wants. I don't want to judge. It's got to be hard as a actress, as a actress in Hollywood, you know, to I like think an actor go under too, the... because you start getting old too. Unless sure. You, it's just, it's a young person's game. Uh, what's the, what's our, what's it? RCAD. What is it? What's it? What's the email again? 
<laughs> rcadcast at gmail.com. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I found it. Send um, us your well, emails because that uh works. Do you know the password? I I thought you I thought you were just already logged into it to get to no, the it, stream. It's all you? by it's all by memory. It's just it's just Perhaps. so well, if some forego it. <laughs> if, if someone well, were to... that we'll just wait till Nick gets back to read your email yeah, you letters. Go. So I have an update about Jane's addiction. Okay. All right. So the the band was named Jane's Addiction in honor of uh, Perry uh, Farrell, Perry Farrell's housemate Jane Banter, who was their muse and inspiration. He was quoted saying, uh, my girlfriend Casey and I were sitting in the car, Farrell recalled, and we started to think about band names. She threw in the idea of Jane's heroin experience. <laughs> it was the original mm. name of the band. Oh, huh. I thought it wasn't vague enough. If you want to invite people in, you don't want to put heroin on your door. <laughs> <laughs> so they changed it to Jane's Addiction. Right gotcha. His housemate. Who nice. A, I swear to, thanks I for the little music. That. You know, the more you know. I swear to God, though, I, a comedian or someone, someone, it was maybe that a was TV me. show. No, I, I just... swear. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Now Jack's going to roid rage on us. Okay. I have you tried? I, have you tried I, steroids for your back? I think they, they gave me something like that. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> just, just, the retired guy it, says email password equals nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Did you not read the title of last week's episode? If I you're not listening, steroids, we but don't it made care. my butt bigger, so I, don't, I stopped. Oh, <laughs> just one one cheek. Not Wait, well, our don't make title your is last week. I can't sit on the toilet level. If it's you if you're week. not listening, yeah. we don't care. That's, that's, what said, that's what I said. That's why I said last week at, on the on Facebook when there people were going ah, rah, 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 about the different guitar. The players, different, I yeah. Guitar. I go, Maybe you guys should read the title <laughs> of the latest episode. Uh, it looks like Prince is winning. So <laughs> oh, hand, is, handedly. Well, that was the J. So, so. that was not the J pick. By the way, Come Jay on. in the comments said that he wouldn't pick Prince because Prince would take over the whole band. So. Uh, he was he was kind of like poo pooing well, Prince, he can't argue with and Prince he was shining no. on Dave, um, Dave Goulet. Dave, Dave Goulet. Goulet. <laughs> Who is your pick, Chris? <laughs> I can't remember what my pick was. I'm being honest. Well, you're not in last. I don't I'm think. going. I think, I'm I going. Think, to, uh, I'm Almond going Joy's in last. Here. Almond Joy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Almond Joy. Let's see. Let's let's give a. a because listeners can clearly still vote on this thing that we don't do. <laughs> um, oh, shit. That was the other one. Damn it. That's going to take me forever to find. Um, all right. Scrolling right along. There's a big banana. Oh, and Sherry's been advertising Ronin which, or Shogun, which I'm very curious. I've heard about. really I've heard good, good things. about. Yeah, it. I've heard it's it's a great show. So that might be on my list, too. Last place is Dave or Dwayne Allman. Um, and then David Gilmore is that's Gilmore. Who yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's who Jay was, would, would have, uh, he was shining on. And uh, Eddie Van Halen is in um, third or second. And then Prince, I don't know how many people, 72 votes, but uh, I can't seem to break it down there. So, so I'm get up the, the Dick and Jane thing, but I can't. So, think. so go ahead and um, start thinking about your, greatest singer or who you want singer for <laughs> well it looks band. like you're going last matt i know i'm I know. going second to last but you know i went last last time and i i pulled out what could be a win unless more people jump on this facebook group page and, oh matt trees is finally here um, oh just got back just got back from seeing dune oh, too I really, really want to see dune really loud really want to see I, it. I, I think i'm about I'm, to rewatch dune uh before dune I, I see this one yeah um I, just, I don't I didn't love it. I love see here's the thing. The first part, the first part is more setup, and the second part, that that is like you know, to me, that is like one of my favorite parts of the Dune story is is Paul yeah. becoming Moadib, you know, and that that whole transition was, wasn't in his, Paul the Walrus. So the walrus was Paul. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um Shut the fuck Ooh, up, Donnie. You? I knew that. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. <laughs> uh, 
I, I, what I'm curious about is like, is are they going to let him do? Is it is it going to be a trilogy? Is it is there going to be the third part? Because from from my understanding, if there was a three part, then the third part would would take on parts of. Um, so it's definitely better Doom than the, the original, is what you're saying. Me? Do I think it's better than the original? Yeah. I mean, that's hard because I I have fond I have I have like a personal fondness for that yeah, we movie know. even if it's a if it's a pile of garbage to other people i still enjoy hey stick to your guns so. you're on roids you're on you know you're roided out. Well, roided out well in the people's ass the director like, like matt, matt and his his affinity for dune has been a mainstay of this podcast for years the 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 eighties dune like the the director's cut the four hour cut where you've got like um you know basically Jean-Luc Picard playing a space guitar. I, I like that. I like the full four hour kind of experience, you know, but, um, but it's hard to tell that story in a, in a two hour setting because yeah. the book itself has movements. And so I think the first part of Dune is really, it's really politics and setup. It's like watching a prequel movie. You're like, Oh, I didn't realize we we're going to get Senate hearings on this and I got to do homework. God, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> You know, and, and some of the senators that were asking the questions are still in the Senate now. <laughs> I think so. I think yeah, I remember seeing them in in the original Dune with a flat, floating bob blob guy. Yeah. 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 So, um. Anyway, um, Dune two. Looking forward to seeing Arnold it. Said, hey, he will turn in next week as well. Is it Thursdays usually? Yeah, oh, we're, yeah, we are usually. usually. If I, you sub, disgruntled, if you just subscribe to our YouTube channel, oh, nice, active. You will get request. notified when the show is going to air. Ba boom! You, yeah. you don't even have to ask; it just pops up. Because sometimes, sometimes there's a scheduling conflict, and we got to yeah. go on a different night. Sometimes but, we have to. Okay, hey, you know. hey, somebody. Sometimes life happens. You know sometimes I mean? life. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, gents. Hey, gents. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, I Jess, was, I'm gonna I, be late. And you're I, the only person. I'm, I'm not criticizing you. I, I, no, I, again, if that's what you, that you just stick, it's I okay. get it. But I, I it's was like, I, I was I, just I've really never worried. Heard anybody under, I was so worried tonight. I was like, he's gonna text saying that using that as a. Uh, it depends on their poop schedule. <laughs> hey man, t t t tonight was a like a, a time crunch. I was uh, a little bit later than I thought I was gonna be getting home. Hey, but you yeah. got it all you out in time. Take care of business before I came down here and, and talked to you. And let me ask the listeners. <laughs> let me ask: Are you enjoying the banana theme? Yeah, in I'm, I'm in. I love it. Okay, I love it. That's why I, I would not. I don't just realized I was dirty dancing though. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> I was just talking about Jennifer Grey. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. I said that's why the banana needed. This is the original banana. She didn't. It, it didn't get any oh, work. I, I, I didn't I'm, realize that just now. It literally I'm, says "dirty RCAD." I didn't. I, I didn't get it. Patrick Swayze holding the banana. It's, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's the gummy. I don't know. Don't. Jackson Glafelter watches the RCAD every week. Oh, that's Thank nepotism, you, Jackson. That's I nepotism. Appreciate that take that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will just say that maybe it's the edible. That that you know you didn't put two and three and five together. Yeah, it's probably what it was. It probably was what it was. <laughs> well, I guess it should be better. It should be in the center because I'm blocking it too. Well, it's yeah. Um, I, you were sitting in front of that for the majority of the episode. I didn't see it, it when it was dirty going. RCAD. It's it's weird because I don't hear the dirty dancing song. When I see it, I hear "Love Lift Us Up Where We Belong." I don't know why. It's a different movie. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not in Dirty Dancing. No, that's Officer and Gentleman. It's, I think. it's, it's my wife's uh, one of my wife's I favorite movies. I go, it's okay. I go, but it's 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 all right. Yeah, I mean, I like Patrick Swayze, but you know, sure. Yeah. I would have put Baby in the Corner. Just just stay there. It's a it's a classic flick, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we all learned to dance <laughs> to that. John asked the tiger guy, why is the banana wearing gloves? Because this was the only banana I could find that had its arms going that wasn't blocking <laughs> Patrick Swayze. Seriously. The amount, the amount of show prep and production that Jack puts into his artwork is pretty incredible. And and notice that the, the, the that the banana has shit itself. <laughs> we found that out because the lift was so scary. It was there's a little poop hole at the bottom there. Yeah. So 
that's how we started it. this. That's uh, how we started this episode out. Yeah, talking about farts. Uh, Matt, no, how, I didn't even notice the poop. Um. Well, I mean, there is that that's a thing. Scary, that's a scary. Th- you see it on videos all the time where people are trying to do that lift. Yeah, and they drop the girl and oh. smacks her head head first. Yeah. I just imagine like that there's some doctor that's had to deal with a collarbone injury due to this as someone who's had a collarbone injury. I just think, you know, you go to lift the girl and then she goes right over you. She falls on her collarbone, broke her collarbone. It's after the wedding. So you're not having sex. So good on you, man. Yeah. There was a, uh, a pairs team <laughs> skating. I have a whole story involved. That, there. Was, like, <laughs> that was, that was brooding up there. <laughs> <laughs> Where would that come from? It's the roids. It's, 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 the, roids. it's the goddamn roids, dude. You're right. I, I do not no. have sex because you try to do the dirty nasty mouth. There was pain behind that story, man. There was, okay, personal, personal, personal side here. Okay. One, one, of the, one of the times we had our wedding anniversary, okay? It was, mm-hmm. you know, it's like mm-hmm. it's it's the yeah. wedding anniversary. It's talk your to wedding me, talk anniversary. Talk to me. Yeah. Okay, so you're kind of like, hey, tonight's gonna be the night because it's the anniversary. You got to do right. right. It's like you're gonna. <laughs> and what happens? I fall down the stairs, and I I hurt myself pretty bad. <laughs> it was just like, well, guess we're not I've never having that. Talking about someone falling down the stairs in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, you slipped in a pile of shit. Mine. <laughs> this is even. This is way better. I, I got cock blocked by my own stairwell. <laughs> no sex for you. <laughs> was it? Bum, 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 bum? Um, no, it was more of like a foomp, bam. You know, kind of like a. And then. Did you fall on your dick? Is that what happened? No, I fell on my. I, no, I fell on my my right elbow, and you know, somewhere around my. Coxic region. What anniversary was this? Because I'm going to say, it if, if it's like was, the first, or, it's like the second one. No, you're, no, you're it still, was. It was. You're a, still no. young enough mm-hmm. and horny enough that you would fight through the pain. It, it was. A, it, Am I right? I, it was on the table. It was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I know. But I'm saying, if you were younger, <laughs> yeah, well, I was younger. It was probably like ten years ago. Yeah, but okay. So. <laughs> she pushed it. Back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because she was pissed too. <laughs> I'm tired. She was, she was <laughs> no. She was just like, "Well, there goes my evening." So well, I'm saying though, if you were younger, if you're younger, you fight through the pain. That's what I'm saying. Uh huh. As you get older, it's like, yeah, yeah sure. I catch you I, tomorrow. Okay, well, I was in my 30s, so you I'm know, saying but, though, but if you're if you're, if you're if I would have yeah new relationship if it's new and it's exciting, it, it's fresh and fun. Yeah. So she pushed you down the stairs. <laughs> she did not. It's my what fucking did you, what, socks. Now did you just mess a step? Yeah, it's like I I caught the edge. You know, like our yeah. our basement steps have a rounded edge to them, and I caught a the bevel, if you will, but not a bevel that would keep you in place. A bevel that goes whoop, like here. I can draw it better than I can. It's you know. not OSHA certified. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah, it's not, and we didn't have grippy pads on them, and it, and I'm kind of known for, for missing. Oh, missing so it wasn't the, carpet; it was, it was wood. Y- yeah, it's wood. Yeah, no. So, like this, the stair, the stair step is kind of like this, right? This is you my do that foot. pretty quick. That's this a fucking foot phenomenal foot. diagram of a foot it jumping is. off a stair. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's that's how it happened. You can give so, it a little, like, t- a bell I'm bottom. I'm taking you to court. <laughs> And have you do the art artwork? That would be too. I I get so as an artist, I sometimes I get too you get too tight. You get too like it's got to be this way, and you can't like so you so you have to kind of like widen in your scope and and allow for the and then you come back in and focus. But that drawing you just did in like thirty seconds was better than I could do in thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I mean, seriously. I mean, I I, 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 mine would I come appreciate out. it. Plus, I'm old. I, I got shaky. I'm shaky now, though, too. So it's like, I get, I, you know, um, <laughs> oh, that kind of shaky. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm he just, jer- he just jerked off the banana. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wait, Why do you think it's smiling? I, it's either that or you're playing a really t- tiny violin. Yeah, um, it, didn't, it didn't fall down the stairs. It's see, happening. those who are listening at home right now and not watching this that <laughs> must have sounded really fucking weird. <laughs> 
you miss a lot. You miss a lot if you don't see see the live. You should come and listen to us every week. Yes, I mean, maybe Thursday. Like the uh, like the disgruntled guy. He's now a, he's we a, a convert apparently. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. I, I was starting what? to talk about. Uh, oh yeah, you were saying about falling down and, and and accidents and the the whole thing. Well, if you ever watch figure skating, like pair skating is dangerous because. You know, the, you're picking someone up and you're falling on ice. It's it's and they have blades and they have blades. Now there That's was glory. rumors one year this this pair team, young pair team, was out there and they weren't getting along. Oh, that that was the rumor. And okay, he was spinning her and let go. Somebody's not having sex tonight. As she, as she slid across the ice and slammed into the boards, I think she ended up break broke her broke her arm. I think. If, oh, jeez! I was there and I was like, "Oh my god, what happened?" He goes, "I just lost control of her." Now, rumor came out later on that he was mad mm. at her and let her go on purpose. Now, oh, it couldn't be proven because better call Saul. Yeah, better call Saul. <laughs> I would call Kim. Crazy. Kim would be a better. Yeah, yeah. she'd get you off. <laughs> yeah, she would. <laughs> she has. Oh, uh, this girl said I've never said I. I apologize. I'm old, and when I say guy, it's, we, I know I'm not supposed to anymore. I just said no, guy to girl or. I got a. I, I got a. I got a uh, Jen. What? What is the current Jen? I don't X. know what the current Jen. No Z. Z is it Gen Z? I gotta get. I guess I gotta pass from my Gen Z students. Uh, the because I I make that mistake. I just yeah. I, I say, hey guys, let's do this, and I just use guys. And um, I was told that guys is a general description for anything. You could call a group of apples guys. You could call a group of oh, really. Yeah. So they they, well, I don't they have were to apologize anymore. They were they were very much of the mindset like. Cause I, cause I even was like, Hey, I don't mean to say this. It's just my old kind of brain that it kind of, and they're like, we don't care, whatever. Like we call everybody guys. We call a bunch of girls, guys, we call blah, 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 guys. I was like, okay, so guys is a lot more universal than what I thought. If we say guys and we offend you, we apologize. We apologize. But it's like but, my uh, granddaughter. It's not, not our intention of, of, you know, putting any type of gender to anything. It's just a general term, I think, is yeah, how we. Exactly. I've, I've been saying it since I was like, you know, I'm pretty old. So I've been saying it. It's, it's hard. I've changed a lot. of. I've, I've, I've stopped a lot of stuff because. Yeah. You I, start... I see where that is offensive. Right. I can't say that anymore. Yeah. Back... Only, only British people can call cigarettes that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I remember when I first heard that, I went, what? What? And they still do it? I love it that they make a joke about it on Ted Lasso. They're like, yeah, yeah. with that. It's just like, what? Yeah, come on, man. Come on. But uh, my granddaughter, I have one, uh, five grandsons. Here she goes. She gets mad. She, I am not. Oh, I fucking froze. I am not a buddy. <laughs> Oh, I fucking froze. <laughs> we, you just we sound like you're at the caught. McDonald's drive thru for there. Okay, we, we got it. part of it. We got part of your order. So, <laughs> okay. It's she says, Jubilee I'm not it. a buddy. I'm a princess. Because I call her baby, actually. I call her baby. And the rest, you know, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Because I can't remember their fucking names. <laughs> 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 I'm getting their names wrong all the time. So, it's just, it's, it's, what it is. it's, 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 when you're teaching and you have like these these names that are just kind of floating around and you're like i need to remember your name and and you're pulling that out of your your ass at the last second you're because, like oh yes i did well the two youngest are name. jackson and ashton and i'm constantly calling jackson ashton oh and of course my granddaughter that's her brother she's it is not ashton he is jackson we call her the judger she's very judgmental I mean, she comes by it honestly because her mom's that way, her her Gigi's that way, her her both grand. It, it's a long line of of judges, of judges. So we call her the judger, and she just goes. Ah. Like she'll tell you if she if you she doesn't like the way you look. Oh, <laughs> like here come the judge. Cindy got a uh, a tablecloth with Easter on it. She goes, yeah. She goes, oh, this is different. And I guess she said it looks like Kleenex. And so Cindy's like going, so you don't like it? She goes, eh. <laughs> Have I got a show for you? She's it's called five. Curb She's your enthusiasm. 
Eh. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. She, that's just uh, who she is. She goes, eh, nah, I don't know. I told you times Cindy had red pants on. She and she's Cindy's we're picking Cindy up at work and she's and she goes, Gigi, what are you wearing? She goes, pants. She goes, I don't like them. <laughs> uh God. Like, wow. Wow. Geez. <laughs> well, you know, um, you gotta nip that in the bud, you know. Cut uh, that it, out. It's, it didn't stop with the. It's it's part of the the tradition of, part the, of yeah. the the Cindy side of the family, mm-hmm. and my side of the family. The women are very judgmental, and they right. not I'm not all of them. Not don't want to lump them up. Some of them are, and sure, and they're very stubborn and very you know. The weird turns this this show takes, especially towards the end, is like yeah. Um, I the last thing I <laughs> I had written down here with was Jack bitches about his wife. Um, <laughs> so I need to make some more addendums here to what we talked about. Jack bitches um, about his daughter, and Jack <laughs> bitches about his granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm in trouble. This might be my last podcast, people. So you cannot even let them know you recorded tonight. Like, this gets out. You're like this, this has to oh, go you know, down. Some, you like, know, someone's going to go on Facebook and tell Cindy, "You gotta listen to the latest podcast." You should listen to what your husband said. You are oh. so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I think she accepts it. You know, and I'm not even uh, really drinking either. I had, I had a little bit of vodka and Gatorade, but oh, that's all had. nice. That's all I had alcohol. Nice. Um. I um yeah we're out of we're out of the alcohol but I've got this muscle relaxer calling my name so <laughs> nice. uh, at least it calms down your road rage it does yeah except it's when I'm sleeping so go figure <laughs> so I I really don't like how groggy it kind of makes me feel like I'd rather I'd rather yeah. just take an edible I or did, something I did like take that, those so. big, years ago but. yeah well and then like you know you're going in and you're like look, I'm not here for drugs, but just what can you do to help me? You know? And then they're like, here you go. Here's, and you're like, Oh, thanks. I hope these are non habit for me. And, and I got, <laughs> I, I just found out I, have to go, I went to my blood doctor again and I have to get another iron infusion and oh. I have to also get another colonoscopy. Well, Ooh, she was oh. pissed because she walked, she walks in and the first thing she says to me, she goes, you didn't schedule your UI. I go, well, I forgot. And I, I did. I just forgot about it. But anyway, so I, I put that top on my list, but I got to go get another. I think sit there if for four it, hours, they pump iron into me. I think, and if I'm not mistaken, don't like, I think folic acid helps your body maintain the iron or there's some connection with folic acid and iron. Maybe I'm thinking that they come in the same foods, but I thought I that there was something about folic acid that it helps your body regulate or maintain your iron so yeah they're, they're trying to figure out something. you're like whatever fuck it well, I, I have to it. i have to take these pills for blood clots <laughs> and i said i go but that's part of the problem because it makes you bleed <laughs> so it's like oh okay. yeah so i'm like going so i was only t- i said i told her i still take this one twice a day i said i've only been taking it once a day because it cuts down on the bleeding and she goes she's looking at me she goes she goes men <laughs> I go, uh, I go, well, I go, she goes, you have to take it twice a day. I said, okay. All right. Cause I had like the other day I was, I was putting my granddaughter in the car and I had a muscle spasm right where oh, the blood oh. clot was. I'm like, okay. I'm starting to think, okay, maybe I should have been taking those fucking pills. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking, Oh, it's, you know, how you get those cramps. You know, like, you know, you could just set a timer on your phone, you know? So no, I could remind yourself to like a regular no, alarm. I, forget, I don't oh. forget. I just don't because I was oh. in certain situations. Okay. But she, uh, <laughs> she, uh, what did she say? I forgot what I was say. Anyway, she said that it, once you had a blood clot, the, 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 there could be damage in the veins that with mm. the area. And that could just be, it's not, it's not your blood clotting. It's just that, Something's it's weak veins. Well, I don't know what you're just saying. I was like, okay, weak. Okay, I wasn't okay. dying. Okay, well, I really don't want to die outside in front of people. So, 
Because, I mean, if something happens to you, Jack, like, I don't know how this podcast is going to go on. Well, I think you'll have to go back to being the producer. So you're, 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 you're purple. You're going to come down here and Jeez. drive me to the doctor. I did not realize that this was a life. <laughs> That's like, I got your copay, Jack. It's on me. <laughs> it's on me. I got don't this die. Really good... Don't die. Not that you care about me. You don't want to be the producer. highest level of Blue Cross Blue Shield for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. The patron he's money's looking, not he's even looking carrying. at the nursing homes that allow audio setups. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> I'm in a coma. You'd still want me to put the stuff together. Well, I just put a little bell there. You could just yeah. go ding, 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 yeah. ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good shit. We should Again, if you're watching that, right we're now. not making fun of people. It's from a TV show. It's from a TV show. We're not making fun of people with. Bells. It's okay. I'm not running for president. Uh, um, right. uh, even if you are, president. I think these things would go fast. That's true. <laughs> anyway, do we have to put another commercial break in? Or are we good? I no. I don't know. I mean, we have two. Isn't that enough? Or do we have I to have another? Enough. Okay. Anyway, let's wrap this thing up because it's already 11.15. Oh, Jesus. And <laughs> Mary you know. and Joseph. <laughs> it it makes it better if you say all, you know. Mother Mary and Joseph. Um, Jesus Christ, where was I at? You're closing up the show. Okay. Thank you. you want to thank some patrons, including Jesus. Yeah. yeah Jesus <laughs> has become a patron. You know, At the highest level. Highest level. <laughs> he's basically uh, keeping Jack on the show. He's, he is. He's, <laughs> without Jesus, we'd be nowhere. We'd be nowhere. Um, he gave his life for this podcast. <laughs> Chris, Chris is just all cringe right there now. Like Chris is like, I'm, I'm a Catholic. I can't make jokes like this. I'm not even. Yeah, well, he you, gave you up. brought up Catholic. I couldn't give two fucks about religion. You, you gave up being a Catholic for Lent, right? I gave up being Catholic for right, for pedophile reason. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, if, if you if you are Jesus out there and you're you're listening to us, thanks, JC. Uh, yeah, just forget us if we said anything. You know. Um. <laughs> fuck. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, want to yeah, become yeah. a patron? Go to jandjack.com, <laughs> Click on the blue button, become a patron, and you <laughs> just zoning out. Thanks for uh, everybody that joined us live. We do appreciate yeah. everybody that joined us in not, the chat. It's not just vodka and Gatorade. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> it's old age that thing. it's old age i'm it's telling you it, it's cocaine. happening i'm slipping um, uh and i'm disgruntled if i said guy and that offended you i apologize if you're our guy and not a guy it doesn't matter to me we just like listeners um so anyway, what about those patron. what about those patrons Jack? become a patron <laughs> But right now, we're going to thank four patrons that have reached a certain level. It's Eckhart Rickner, Glaffelder, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, and Ed, the creepy, poopy letter carrier. Thanks for what you do, and thanks for everyone who joins us in the chat. We couldn't do it without you. Thank Matt Trees for showing up late when I had so many questions early on, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, and thank you, have newest, a, you have a life, newest too. In, newest, uh, what do you call it? During the show, listener. Viewer, yes, I am disgruntled. Welcome. I am disgruntled. We're happy to have you, and we'll probably be here next Thursday, and probably. with a new banana theme. Likely new banana theme, new, new banana week. Theme. We're not sure if Nick fan favorite will be here or not. He said it's 50 50. But if he does, you if don't want to miss out because we're gonna have the next verses for the singer for our fantasy band. And guys, I gotta think right now, I'm thinking who is in my band. And who do I want to be singing for this? These like, like, cause I'm thinking, how do they all gel together? When, when would this happen? Like, am I just pulling well, them out from e the dead? And egos too. Cause I got Eddie Van but, Halen who has a I got, ego. I got Prince and dead. Paul McCartney, but you know, yeah, yeah. like, so, you know, but, well, would, would Prince, would, would Prince, he's so shy. Oh, he mm -hmm. was so shy. I keep forgetting he passed away, but he's, he, would, how would he, interact with the rest of the band because yeah like he wouldn't, said, he, would to... he, he, he wouldn't need the rest of a band like he right. see, just take out but see i'm thinking like i'm thinking in terms of like how do i get into prince's psyche as to like why he would even be doing this he's a big huge Joni mitchell fan so like if Joni mitchell was his singer he'd be like i would do that i would i would play for her you know and i could see paul being like hey why don't we record at my place we got a little <laughs> pad here by the way keith moon just showed up is going to be hanging with us. <laughs> so who, whoever, you know, I just keep thinking of these different musicians or, you know, would anyway, 
So Joe, it'll be Joe fun. Co- Joe Cocker would be good. So tune in next week for that. Tune, tune in next week for that. So it, it, well, right. maybe because we don't know if Nick's going to. Oh, maybe yeah. Or, the next or week maybe after. who knows. Pull, but anyway, maybe. pull this puppy fun, over. Another fun night. That's all we got. Hasta luego and goodbye. Great show, kids. One in a million. We love you, Cindy. Keep on dirty <laughs> dancing and putting that baby in the corner. Baby. Wait, who did you say? I said we love you, Cindy. <laughs> well, now it's going to look bad that I didn't say it. Thanks a lot, Chris. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're so-